Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moves to Row here, here for another reading for the sign of Libra. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciated. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribe, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watchers, grab a seat. All right, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you, thank you so much for your continued love, your likes, comments, and shares, and continue subscribing to my channel. And greatly appreciated. There's no time, no gender, and tarot. This is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe, subscribe, because you just never know when you need to hear this. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, all right? Happy birthday, happy birthday to all my Libras out there, okay? I have Libra and um, Sun Moon Rising, okay? I have um, Rising and Libra, all right? Um, and just hope you guys are celebrating it, loving the fact that you're here. You're, if, even if you don't have nothing planned, okay? Do something spontaneous with yourself, self-care, all right? Get your toes done, get your, t um, your nails done. If you're a man, get you know, go go get a lineup, go get your beard done, go you know, get your hair done. Just something that entitles self care. Just loving upon yourself, enjoying the fact that you have reached another milestone, another solar, you know, around this um universe in the moon and in etc. 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 Okay. Um, just understand that your purpose is here. All right. If you're able to see this year, know that you are blessed. Know that you are highly favored. There are a lot of people who have not seen, um, you know, whatever year it is that you're, you know, you're, you're coming into. All right. I just celebrated my birthday um, not too long ago on the 21st. Yes, I am a Virgo, a proud Virgo. All right. I believe we are all in different placements. If we actually really like dissect, we are all signs. Okay. That's why there are certain things that resonates with us. And it's not even, and it, and it doesn't appear to be our sign on the screen. Correct. So you could, you can walk in. Hold on. Kind of looking tacky. You can walk in. All right. You can walk into um, a, 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 a Aries read and the title just speaks to you. What the reader is saying speaks to you. That was meant for you. Okay. I feel like things are not coincidental. Things just are what it is. Okay. And we have to dive into that, okay? Understand that those messages were meant to be delivered and it came through this person to us, okay? No matter what sign we are, we are in, in a lot of placements if you definitely look at your astrology chart, okay? I definitely dissected in mine. This is why sometimes I be catching on to certain traits and realizing that, wow, like, that is given Sagittarius. That is given Taurus. That is given Pisces. That's given, and that's, you know, that's not my sun, moon, and rising. But, but yet, I do have certain characteristics, okay, that follows in a different um, astrology sign, zodiac sign. All right? But let's dive more into this, okay? I'm definitely going to light up the stage a little bit more. That way we can get into your reading um, and just know that you guys are highly blessed. I feel as though this is your year. This is will continue to be your year. I'm getting that some of you guys have been through a lot of hardships and this year has been speaking or it's starting to show that your, you know, your fruits are, are, you know, your fruits of are showing. Okay. Your hard labor is paying off. All right. And you had to let go a lot of things that were burdensome, okay? A lot of things that stunt your growth. A lot of things that did not speak volumes to what you're trying to venture off to. And sometimes we it, we can't stomach the fact that we got to let go of certain places, play, people, places, or things because it no longer suits our motivation. It no longer suits our plan. It no longer suits God's plan. And although whatever it is that we may believe in, religion, spiritual wise, whatever it is, these people had to have to be left because they can't go where you're going. They can't feel what you're feeling. And as much as you want to inspire them, they can only inspire themselves. And the more that you hold on to these people is the more that you keep yourself back from what it is that the universe is showing you. 
all right but let's go into it that's a download that i got for some of you guys that definitely need to hear that it's a part of part of growing is letting go no matter how much you're afraid to let go no matter how much you're afraid to hurt someone you're not when it comes to like see that's the thing of loving yourself and choosing yourself is not selfish and those who think it's selfish are those are the ones who are selfish because they're constantly choosing themselves and don't want you to choose yourself because they want you to pay attention to them okay so pay attention to those who are hungry for your attention and does not care if you're elevating or not as long as whatever it is you're doing in your life suits them the puzzles in your life goes with whatever puzzle they're going through okay even if they come empty-handed okay so the card that came out for you all right in reverse okay text message unsent message that's in reverse okay and gambling taking a chance all right you have been holding back to a specific person okay you used to be the one to always go and run off to this person try to fix things trying to mend things you are no longer trying to do that this person is constantly looking at their phone all right they're wondering why hasn't libra reached out why hasn't libra does have been so vulnerable like they used to be okay to show me that they want this connection more than me okay it does not mean that this person loved you any less this does not mean that this person did not love you it means that this person still had some growing up to do this person did not know how to acknowledge and embrace what they were feeling they weren't under they didn't understand what they were feeling okay and it caused you to let go and let god allow the universe to take the lead and play the cards that was dealt and just leave it as that if this person was meant to be they will come back and we will solve things we will work things out and if they don't come back then it was definitely not meant to be and this is where you guys are at okay this person's about to take a chance with you this person's realizing the odds were definitely against them the moment that they walked away from you okay and disregarded abandoned okay was confused but allowed themselves to be confused out of spite of fear they allowed fear to get the best of them knowing that it wasn't going to get them anywhere by stalling sabotaging gaslighting breadcrumbing so this person had to make a change. This person had to make a move. And they will make a move. If they haven't already. This is why I'm talking. Because some of you guys have gotten messages from this person. Now listen. It's up to you. If you choose to answer and respond to this person in a positive way. Or you can answer in a negative way to them. See you may not think it's negative. Because you're giving them the same. Excuse me. The same dish that they fed you okay but two wrongs don't make a right karma does exist and karma does take receipts good or bad karma so when you say let go and let god mean that don't sit there and try to be, you know, all right, I'm going to be spiteful. I'm going to be thing. I'm about to show this person. They're already feeling it. This is why this person is coming to you. And understand and trust that this takes a lot for this person to take their pride and ego aside to approach you. It took them a lot. A lot of slaps in the faces, okay? And this person started realizing that. How could I not want someone who values themselves? How could I not want someone who feels as though they are worthy? This person starting to realize they were running away from themselves. They were running away from what was meant for them. And they're tired of running. And the moment that you stop chasing... They start realizing what it is and what it means to have someone who cares about them sincerely.
and they will not and they won't let you go.